Before you can begin doing business as an entrepreneur, you need to decide what legal form your business will take and, in many cases, register your new business with your state and sometimes your city or county. So, how do you know which business type is best for you? legal business type can have a major effect on how your company operates. So it's important that you put some thought into choosing the type that is best for your business and its goals. There are a few main forms that your business entity can take. Sole proprietorship, often referred to as a sole prop, is the easiest type of business to form, as all you need to do in most jurisdictions is begin doing business. This is a very popular option for many entrepreneurs because it's straightforward. There is no separation between the company and you as an individual, and you maintain complete control of your business. That's great when it comes to taxes, because there's no issue of double taxation. However, the owner is personally liable for all actions and debts of the business. So if your company can't repay a loan, the creditor can take action against your personal belongings to recoup its losses. A partnership is similar to a sole proprietorship in that owners are not faced with double taxation and all partners are wholly liable for the business's actions and debts. However, a partnership requires that ownership is shared between at least two people versus just one owner in a sole prop. Additionally, partnerships must be registered with the state and usually the city or county as well in which the business is based. There are multiple types of corporations, including C-Corps and S-Corps, that have different characteristics. But in all corporations, the business is a legal entity separate from its founders, meaning that the founders or owners are not personally liable for the corporation's actions and debts. A C-Corp is the traditional corporation form and is subject to double taxation, meaning that the business pays taxes on its profits and then the owners pay taxes again on any income that they earn from the business. An S-Corp, however, is a pass-through entity, like a sole prop or partnership, and not subject to double taxation. All corporations are required to file articles of incorporation, abide by strict record-keeping and reporting regulations, and to have a board of directors. Therefore, it is the most expensive business. A limited liability company, or LLC, combines the tax benefits, low cost of registration, lesser reporting standards, and maintenance of control for the owner or owners, while also protecting the owners from personal liability. Therefore, it is an extremely popular option. LLCs must be registered with the state and usually with the city or county where the business operates. So, how do you know which of these legal company formations to choose? Well, that depends on your individual business and your goals for its growth. I would always recommend that entrepreneurs protect themselves from liability by using some formation other than a sole prop. Additionally, if you believe that your new company will be extremely fast growing and you plan to look for venture capital investment in the future, spend the extra time and money to incorporate your business now as most venture capitalists will only do deals with corporations and changing your business type in the future will be even more costly and messy than just investing in forming a corporation to begin with. If you do not plan to raise venture capital investment, however, an LLC may be just fine for you. Take the time to think about what business formation makes the most sense for your endeavor. And if you're still not sure, ask a professional for guidance. This is a key decision that will affect how your business operates and should not be made lightly. I hope this video was helpful. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter to get more advice for your new venture.